There are mixed feelings and controversies spreading through the PLU students after the article in the mast explaining the ministry's decision to quote, ax the Christmas tree. The ceremony will change from the lighting of a cut Christmas tree to the lighting of two younger trees by the bell in Red Square. I can appreciate why they wouldn't want to have a Christmas tree, but personally, I love Christmas more than just about anything. And if you were to see my room in Flieger right now, it is like totally decked out in Christmas. I think, well, me personally, it's my first year, so I've never got, never got to experience the like community getting together in front of the Christmas tree, like all the everything together. Which I think would be cool because I do it at my house with the Christmas tree up and everything. So it's always been fun. Um, I'm fine with it really. I mean, I think that it's good that we can have some more diversity and more acceptance of other people's religions because a lot of religions don't use Christmas trees or some people are non-religious. I don't think everybody uses a Christmas tree, so I don't think it's necessarily like good for us to be streamlining everybody into one religion or one holiday. So I think it's good that we don't have it this year and everybody can choose what they want to do instead. <laughs> I don't know, like if they can incorporate other religions somehow too, but like to keep that Christmas tree here because it is, it was founded on Christian traditions and it is a Lutheran school. Um, so there's still like those Christian morals. And I think that it's an important part of who we are at PLU. And so I think we should keep the Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, I understand it, but it kind of irks me just because we are a Lutheran school and it's like we shouldn't be afraid to identify as that. We shouldn't be afraid that we're going to offend people by putting up a tree because it's, it's our tradition, it's our religion. This is Mallory Ballard with producer Angela Amundsen reporting for Loot Times.